Hello everybody, this is Kaizoku. Welcome back to Fallout 3 Operation Anchorage DLC. Time to go down the elevator. This is episode 2, if I did all my editing correctly. Activate switch. Probably going to be a lot of talking in this one. So let's do this. Hey, they're talking about killing me. I'm putting on my armor. I'm taking out my Chinese assault rifle. McGraw gave orders. It's that simple. Come on. How long you McGraw These guys were talking about killing me. All right, you. Keep your weapons holstered, your hands to yourself, and your mouth shut. Follow me. Okay, he was the one who was following orders. The other guy wanted to kill me. Look around. Nice little interesting base you've got here, guys. You got something to say? Say it. This is such a wild goose chase. Lost tech. Please. Only thing we're gonna find in this tomb is canned peaches and moldy blankets. Huh? What are you talking about? Look, would you just... just get back to your assignment? I'm not listening to this. I thought you'd understand. You, of all people. I guess I was wrong. Get away from me, moron, and pray I don't report you. Fine. What are you doing here? This guy is, like, spreading dissent. I don't know where that other guy went. I'm going to look around. Requires key. What about here? What I'm just going to look around. Here? Because the guy told me to follow him, but then he disappeared. So now I'm going to loot you guys. Back and we're all dead. What? You cannot be serious. Just stop talking. You're gonna get us both killed. I thought you'd understand. You of all people. She's spreading it now. I guess I was wrong. Enough, okay? You go down. I ain't letting you drag me down with you. Wow, okay, I'm sorry. I was just Is that kidding. McGraw? That's McGraw. Okay, let's let's talk to these people then. Or Sibley. Find someone else to bother, local. There's McGraw. What are you doing here? So you're the one Morel sent down. I'll be perfectly honest. I'd trust a wastelander to shine my power armor, and even that's pushing it. But you do have that computer there on your wrist. Hmm. I can see now that Morel made the right call. Maybe you can be useful after all. So my pit boy makes me unique, and you need my help because of that? So you do have half a brain. That's good. I'll keep it simple. I need you, and I need that computer of yours. You help me out, and I'll do what I can to help you. This isn't an offer the outcasts extend to anyone, so you really should think carefully about it. If you've got a paying job, I'm in. What's the situation? Oh, sir, you're a mercenary. Suddenly everything has become much clearer. All right, I'll get right to the point. Records indicate there's some high-value tech in this base, but we can't get to it. The armory is sealed by a blast door, and we can't get it open. We're pretty sure anyone who completes the facility simulation program will gain access, but it requires a certain interface, like your Pip-Boy. I need you to go into the simulator and complete that program, which will unlock the armory. Do that, and you'll get a share of the gear. So it's a computer game. I get it. Sounds like fun. Well, it's not. It's a hyper-realistic military training simulation of the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from Chinese communists. This is heavy combat. Safety protocols off. That means you die in the sim, your body goes into massive cardiac arrest. Sim death. Real death. You're still listening, so I'm going to assume you're interested. Okay. But time's wasting. Sibley can take you to the pod. Olin will get you briefed. If you want to walk away, you're free to leave. My men won't stop you. Uh, 
follow Sibley to the simulator room. I'm gonna have to come back and loot this place. But no one's looking. Hey, uh, watch it! It was a screwdriver! So this thing is some kind of training sim, near as we can figure. Guess you can tell us more when you come out. Oh, there it is. It's just down the hall. Who's that? Knock, knock, Olin. Got a new best friend for you. What? Yep. Let's hope you treat this one better than the last guy, huh? <laughs> Go to hell, Sibley. You know that wasn't my fault. Sure, whatever. Just make some progress, okay? We're all looking to get out of here. Fine. Then get out and let me do my job. Oh, right. great. Just what we need. Alright, fine. I'll come back and talk to you later. Specialist Olin. I already looked here. There's nothing in here. Can I hide from this guy? Can I access your computer? Let's do... None of the letters are correct in fifth. Alright. Tries. <laughs> Tries is an exact match. Okay. Works for me. Latest reports. 8.15. Scrapped last week after Chase ran through it himself, said it didn't feel right. It was eventually determined he was referring to hardware issues not anything to do with the software. Chase has been making modifications on the chair, but some ongoing issues remain problematic. The question of administration to provide details of Max and hardware history have been neglected. Questions about the particular external interface requirements remain unanswered. Tex will attempt to compensate. Sim back up and running after another few days of changes. Chase is running everyone ragged, making tweaks here and there. The Sim is, without any shadow of a doubt, divorced from reality. I've never seen the classified military reports, but some of the stuff Chase has added to the Sim, there's no way it happened like that. <laughs> Version 736.099 was scrapped after Chase decided his face didn't look just right. I realize progress reports aren't the place for this, but there are concerns that the man is losing it. No one confronts him because everyone is scared after West Tech dropped off the grid. There were lots of rumors about the military commandeering private contractors, but no one wants to give Chase a reason to do that here, but really... What's the point in running the sim over and over and over? Any tactical data was mined months ago. Access denied. That must have been the people before the uh, outcast showed up. Unless that guy's name is Chase McGraw. Wait, it's all green. I won't, I won't get in trouble for taking anything. Okay. There we go. Why do I have a coffee mug? Can I heal that assault rifle? Let's look. Repair, heal, it's all the same. Alright, let's do this. Keep your distance, Mutt. No knowing what you've got Shut up. on you. You're here to help? Fine, then put this on. Get in the chair, and we'll run the simulation. Hey, look, I'm just trying to get some more information. Fine, hurry up then. What do you want? Why exactly do you need me? Well, I suppose if you don't mind us hacking off your forearm, we don't really. This sim is looking for an external interface. I haven't quite figured out why, but there's no way to bypass it. Your pit boy there is a match. So since you're the one wearing it, you're the one running through the simulation. 
Get it. Alright, you cranky bia. Cha cha. Activate simulation. You're not pod. sitting in that thing unless you're wearing the. Fine! Neural suit. Whatever. Neural interface the suit. suit. For it. I'm not gonna have you fry the circuits. Oh my. Look at us. We look like a weird football player from the future. <laughs> Do I need to take off my helmet? Let's take off my helmet. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. I'm going to jump up in it. Okay, he does it himself. Oh, no. Ooh, it's a pretty light. Pretty light. Hey, wake up. Come on. Snap out of it. I'm up, I'm up. That was a hell of a nasty fall you took. When your shoot bunched up like that, I thought you were a goner. I hope the other guys made it. I don't think their patrol spotted us coming in. So at least we still have the jump on them. You still have your gear. So I'm gonna let you make the call. You can go in quiet, or guns blazing. We'll still meet at the rendezvous point inside, as planned. Then we'll blow those artillery guns to hell. Just watch yourself. Red's up here. Don't take prisoners. Good luck. All right, so we're sneaking in. We're gonna rendezvous, and we're gonna blow up the artillery guns. And is he just gonna climb up the mountainside? Can I do that? Or is that just how he decides to do it? Quest added the guns of Anchorage. This dude's a badass. They have rock climbing in Fallout 4. That'd be awesome. Maybe like a like in Far Cry 4, you could throw up the uh, the thing and climb up a rock face, but you can do it anywhere <laughs> within like a 50 meter throw or something. That's cool. Okay, so can't go that way. Let's look at my local map here. I uh, uh, let's look at everything I have: silenced 10 millimeter pistol and my trench knife. Trench knife does more damage. Maybe I could be sneaky. Nice. Okay, and I've heard that the armor doesn't degrade and your weapons don't degrade, so there's literally no reason to uh, repair anything. Let's follow the wind. How about that? Caution. High winds. No safety equipment. Do not proceed. Okay. Same thing. I see a light. I don't see a Chinese. There he is. Uh, that guy fell to his death. Let's try and vats this guy with the knife. There we go. That's right. The people disintegrate, so you don't even pick up stuff. Is there anything here? Oh yeah, health dispenser. These are the only things you can interact with in the simulation. It's things that glow red. So this is good that I've read up on all this stuff. <laughs> nope, nope. Caution.
This has got to be the way to go. Let us continue. Don't want to be picked off. Let's run across this. This is a pretty beautiful map area. Nothing like this in Fallout 3. Alaska Anchorage. Alright, we're hitting it again. Sweet. Where is he at? I'm going to eat metagaming right here. Ah, is he by the fire? I don't know. There he is. That wasn't even a fire. That was just something I could interact with. saying those curse words at me. Oh. 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 Where's the other guy? He's down low. Um, sniper rifle, please. Sweet. Can't sleep in the army cot, but now we got a rifle. Chinese assault rifle. Best rifle in the game. Ammo dispenser. Nice. Now what if I'm holding grenades now? Oh. No, I don't get more grenades. Okay. Um, four needs to be the frag. Or no, the Chinese assault rifle. And I want five to be the frag, six to be the mine. Miss again. There we go. Blue's leg off. Alright. Let's get ammo. And we got pretty good health still. Oof, don't want to fall off. Now where do we want to go? Do we want to go up here? Let's go up here real quick. See if there's another gun we can pick up. Nope. Got a stealth boy. Nice. Good choices. That's where we want to go. The bridge is like broken here. You can see it was supposed to suspend over there. So they built this little staircase. That way they don't have to worry about the wind. <laughs> Ooh. Shoot. 
There we go. Sneak attack. Ow! Keep going. Aha. Stay where you are. Oh, decapitated. That looks like it hurts. Any health dispensers? No. Nope. Okay, I think I might use a stealth boy coming up. Uh, yeah, I'm going indoors. Might as well switch to my pistol. Yeah, door to cave outpost. Okay. So let's slip on a stealth boy as soon as we get in here. I already found one, so that's fine. Don't know what they were shooting at. Ooh, Gauss rifle. Him down without getting seen. Got a cash. What is this Gauss rifle? Is this what I think it is? All right, only eight shots. I'm gonna save it. Let's put it on. What do I got? Seven. I got a lot of frag mines. Frag mines though. the guy. Police! Put the other guy under caution. Ah, he doesn't see me. Oh, he heard that though. Sneak attack critical. Anything here? Uphill. Nope. Oh, stealth boy ran off. Alright. Anything over here? Nope. Alright. Into the actual tunnel tunnel. Made by man. Nothing. Oh. Is that my buddy? That's my buddy. Hey. 